starting in IT, go wide. Go Cisco a little bit, go Microsoft a little bit, go uh, a little of a lot. Go wide because that will open doors and then once you get in, you can go, go in. Once you're in IT, go deep. Uh, that's where you, you take your, your wide salary level and increase it because you specialize in things that the common man or woman can't uh, get right away because you've, you've gone much deeper into some specialty and that's where you then thrive is in that specialty because there's no way to stay wide forever. You have to specialize. Personally, I, I like to start out narrow at first because generally our passions are in something. So get passionate about one thing, focus on that, but then don't stop there. You know, this is, it's technology, it's, it's, the, it's so ever changing that focusing on one thing forever is really silly. But do something that you're passionate about and then grow your passions. So I think start out, start out you know, narrow, deep, so you really are passionate, you know something, you're an expert on something, but then allow yourself to grow. Don't stop on that one narrow, narrow part of technology. Find more things that you love. Find more things that you want to learn about and expand who you are while at the same time that depth is going to increase. But start with something that you love. And the secret is this. You don't have to do it overnight. You can just say, here I am today. Here's what I want to learn. To, I want to study for 45 minutes today. Here's what I'm going to study. I'm going to take myself from a scale of one to five, from a two, as I try to go high to five being an expert. I'm going to try to go from two to a three over the next couple days in this technology or on this piece of that technology. And that's the secret to continue to move no matter at what stage you're at, continue to move forward.